Hello. Hello. <laughs> so, it's my arm being the memory stick. Um, Ash and I are doing a bit of a tour. We've, um, you know, when you do business, it's plan, do, and review, and you've got to review all your work, mm -hmm. make sure it's where it should be, change any things that needs to improve. And so we, we, we sat down this summer and did a whole review of all the deals we've done so far, all the deals we've sourced, bought, sold, mm -hmm. uh, let out. Um, I think we're on deal 217 at the moment. Uh, something like that, I think, yeah. And <laughs> Hello. Yeah. <laughs> And so we just had a good old review and we thought it'd be really useful for you guys if we came around a few of them, um, told you what it was bought for, what it was sold for, what it revalued for, um, yeah. what we thought, um, what went well, what went badly. And we do have company with us today, which is, oh, hang on. There's a dog there somewhere. Excuse me. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so Ash's dog. <laughs> I won't be able to get sitting back up on the fence. <laughs> I'm so small. So this, where are we? Uh, William Street in Tottenham. And this was deal 115. Yep, that's right. Which was when about, how many years in? Uh, probably 2015, 2014. So two Possib and a half years oh, in? Possibly, possibly, could be. That kind of thing? Yeah, something like that, right, yeah. yeah. So we've worked together so far for five and a half years, five and three quarter years, five yep. and a half years? Yeah, that's right, yeah. yeah um, Ash is a very patient guy. <laughs> and, uh, and so what did we buy it for? Uh, 157. And what part of this property was it? Do you see? Uh, the two bed masonette, which is that part there. This part, so. Yeah, that part, and then up one more. There you yeah, go. That bit. So you walk into here, and then uh, you've got the, gr the kind of level floor, the ground yeah. floor, and then first floor. Yeah, that's right, yeah. So, um, but we didn't start off buying it 157, did we? No, we started at 155. And then why did and it go up? And we had to go up because I think it was to do with a. Um, like a housing association, association who was selling it, and um, I think they had a bit of competition, so we ended up paying one five seven in the end. Cool. Yeah. Cool. And then how we did this as a JV, didn't we? We did indeed. Yes. It was a really lovely, yeah. really lovely lady who's also done our mentoring program as well. Yeah, that's right. And she's an absolute joy to work with. A real yeah. pleasure. Real gentle soul, actually. Um, and was this her first? Uh, it's her first one with us, that's yeah. for sure. So what was really cool is she did this one as the first one with us and it kind of gave her a bit of confidence. Yeah. She then bought a deal from us as well, Source didn't deal, she? Yeah. Which she then ran and renovated herself. And I think that they, they sold that, didn't they? And yeah. then they bought uh, No, I think they rented it out. They rented that and one then, out. Yeah, th I think they're doing their own stuff now in Bristol, which That's is great. That's right. Yeah, really so good. what often happens is people start off working with you and it kind of gives them a bit of confidence that actually, do you know what, they've learned quite a lot and now they can move forward and do it themselves, which is lovely. And mm -hmm. so, of course, she's um, part of our crew. She was part of our group for a year on mentoring. So we see her quite a lot and she's yeah. lovely to work with. So, um, and then we said it would actually value up at 210. Yeah. What, what happened? Uh, we ended up selling it for 205 actually. Oh. Yeah, which is a bit of a disappointment. Um, I, I can't really think of any kind of main reasons why as such. I think, you know, the refurb was, was good enough. Yeah. Um, we had a good number of viewings. Um, but yeah, we just ended up settling for, for 205 um, instead of 210, which yeah. is a bit of a disappointment. Um, that's yeah. only happened with a very small number of your deals, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. But it does happen. And, and one of the reasons we wanted to bring you guys here today is just to show you this stuff does happen. You know, I think mm -hmm. um, a five grand digression, if you like, is quite a lot of money, but it is part of being a property entrepreneur. Yeah. You are doing a buy to sell. It's one of the reasons why joint venture partnerships need to be um, under 13.3, because mm -hmm. it is what you call a variable opportunity. And so you can't guarantee what it will sell for. You do your best guess, and we do about 45 pieces of research. And again, we've got the deal report here. So Ash, let's have a look. You, oh. Oh, <laughs> Loving your sound. Did you, I hope you guys were biggie into that. <laughs> So you actually um, spoke to five, um, which is quite interesting, five estate agents, yeah. and um, and then you did about twenty pieces of sold. And yeah, normally that's the case. On yeah. the market, and this one you, you actually did the five estate agents, and you gave their name and their mm -hmm. branch number mm -hmm. and their phone number again for our investor to check. But occasionally it just does happen. Yeah. You know, and with the best effort and the best will in the world, you're going to get slightly lower sale than than need be. Mm -hmm. So how did our investor react? Uh, I think I can't, I can't really remember to be honest. I think you know she, she's a very understanding uh, lady, um, really you know quite quite nice to work with. So yeah, it's just one of those things. Just a bit of a disappointment, um, but it's one of those property things, isn't yeah. it? You know? Yeah. And so for her, I think what it did was it made less money than the plan. We'll wait for him to go, <laughs> Mr. Mr. Funk. 
it made a wee bit less money than expected because it sold a wee bit under what we would hope for. It's mm. about two and a half percent under the total yeah. uh, value. But it didn't stop her, which is amazing. So she yeah. then went on, bought another source deal from us, and now she's doing property in Bristol, <laughs> which we're kind of enjoying watching her develop. Yeah. And I've been mentoring her. She's doing very so well. Yeah. yeah, she's doing great. So these disappointments are going to happen. This is all part of property. Don't let it stop you. It is part of property, except the risk, because you're an entrepreneur, you're no longer in a day job, and there's no longer a stamp you mm-hmm. know, salary going to kick out. Um, and just use it as a good learn and a good kind of understanding that property occasionally does a little speed bump, but yeah. the general trend is property makes you wealthy. Yeah. And these guys are doing really well now. And I think Ash's dog needs a cuddle, don't you? Oh, hang yes. on. I can't. <laughs> Sorry about my video. You want to come say hello? <laughs> Ash's dog is basically saying, can you please give me comfort? Yeah. Can you please go now? <laughs> yes. So we will. We'll see you guys in another one. But I hope just absorbing those little disappointing tiny moments of speed bump, it's all part of being a property yeah. entrepreneur. So go for it, guys. It's really worth doing.